Which example would you like to see? In example 6, we have x plus 9 equals negative 1. This is addition, so we have to inverse addition using subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides of my equal sign. This makes the positive 9 and negative 9 cancel, leaves me with x on this side and a negative 10 on this side. So x equals negative 10. In example 7, we have x minus 8 equals negative 1. So I'm going to inverse the subtraction using addition. And we're going to cancel that minus 8 by adding 8 to both sides of my equation. That will make the negative 8 and positive 8 cancel. And we'll be left with this x equals negative 1 plus 8 is positive 7. So x equals positive 7. In example 8, we have negative 6 times x, so we're going to inverse that multiplication using division. And we're going to show that division using a fraction bar. So I'm going to divide by negative 6 on both sides. This makes the negative 6 on over here cancel, and we'll be left with x. And then when I divide negative 30 by a negative 6, I get a positive 5. So x equals positive 5. In example 9, we have x divided by 9. So we're going to inverse that division using multiplication. And I'm going to multiply by the denominator, which x was divided by. So I'm going to multiply by 9. And we're going to multiply by 9 on both sides. This will make these positive 9's cancel, and we'll be left with x. And on the other side, negative 9 times positive 9 makes a negative 81. So x equals negative 81 is my answer. In example 10, we have a fraction, 8 over 7, times x, which equals 8. To inverse a fraction, we're simply going to flip it. We're going to use the reciprocal. So instead of 8 over 7, I'm going to multiply by 7 over 8. 7 over 8 on both sides. This will make the 7s here and the 8s here cancel. We'll be left with just x. 8 times 7 is going to make 56. And when I divide that by 8, I get 56 divided by 8, which is just 7. So x equals 7 is my answer.